welcome back to the channel or oh, welcome to the channel and um, this week sees us looking at the burly tail wagon um, you might have seen in previous episodes we've been trying to get the dogs used to a single wheeled trailer which Luna was fine with but Zena wasn't so we got the burly tail wagon not ideal because we did want the single wheel um, and if you've watched other YouTube channels you might see that trailers with two wheels um, sometimes flip up and turn over so we've adapted the burly tail wagon with um, new suspension which hopefully will mean it's not likely to tip up um, and this is how we've done it okay so plan B for the dog bike trailer here we go Important destructions. Wheel. I hope you've got two. <laughs> well, just the one. Oh no! There is two. An arm. Here it is. <laughs> Here it is. Plan B, or half of Plan B, anyway. It's a book. It's just, it's just, yes, pages of uselessness. Tools required: Phillips screwdriver and a twenty-five mil wrench. Right, we'll have to go and sort that. Out. Am I the wrench? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay. Oh, we have wheel guards. These are the wheel guards. Oh, and it comes with the Allen key. It is really hard, isn't it? Yeah, but it's probably supposed to be. Well, not that hard, so you can't, I can't do it. Clip. I like that bit. Check the frame locks are properly engaged. Failure to do so can cause serious injury. Wheels. Release. That's what I like. Put it on its side completely. There you go. We have purchased said axle here to attach said trailer to said bike. Said, he. said who? <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Um, so we're going to fit this now, take the original axle out. Um, Bob's, your Bob's your uncle. Out comes the... We've propped the bike up on its pedal so hopefully everything stays in line. But we know what That's a clever did. idea. Yeah, it was, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. I wouldn't have thought of that. So now we've got to just compare the actual thread size, thread pitch, and the length of the axle to make sure they're Your suitable. wife did the right yeah. purchase. There's only one problem though. Don't get it out. Good. Okay, well, we need to keep that, don't we? We do. The other one. Now it says in the instructions to actually put some oil on it. On Does it? Thread. Yeah, yeah. Oh. We did that on the other one. Did we? Yeah. There we go. Oil on. Oil on. In it goes. You have to talk this one twelve and six. Yeah. So it does tell you to put additional washers in if it doesn't come out the other side. So it's got to come out the other side or be flush. So it's going to be flush. Look. Yeah. So that's fine. So in mean? the instructions, it tells you to talk it to twelve. Twelve and six. Meters. One side is 12 and one side is 6 on there. Yeah, this is different. Okay. It's all done from this side. Oh, is it? Oh, there we go. Oh, because, yeah, of course, there's only because one the, side. Yeah, the, the, the other one has two. Is on the other side, yeah. there are two, yeah. So it says, tighten the through axle to 12 newton meters with a 5 mil allen. And then, you have now got to put the hitch thing on. Where is the hitch? On the trailer. Dogs. Yeah. You're in the way. You're too bloody big. It should downsize you. Right, so at the moment, look at that, we're slightly out. So we need to slacken it off again. So it needs to it needs a slight down angle on that. Okay. See it? It doesn't quite want to fit in. Yep. Okay. Stay there. Stay good for hell. Good. No. Sit down. Dead. Dead. Good. Stay there now. Stay good girl. Stay there. Good girl. That's good. No, 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 no. No. Action. No. Stay there. Lie down, dead. Yay! Good girl. Now stay there like that. No, 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 no! Stop it! She might actually give in and just lie down just on the lie job. Down. She doesn't like sitting, but anyway. No, stay there. Stay there. So, as you can see, uh, we've gone to plan B. Uh, Zen is not very good in a trailer. She's yep. not very good in a two wheel trailer. She's just not very good in a trailer. Uh, we are going to be modifying the burly tail wagon, uh, adding suspension, so hopefully it won't tip up as much and is a bit more comfy for her. Uh, we are really impressed with the burly coho, the cargo trailer. The burly tail wagon, we're not so sure, are we? Not yet. No, we're going to have to try it. 
give it a bit of a longer term test if she can if she can take it if she can take it oh we're just going to traumatize our dog she's going to have to get used to it though hi everyone um right today today we are going to show you and um, the modifications we've made to this um early tail wagon yeah but the downside of this is it's got no suspension and the single axle one has. Now, we've seen a few videos about this trailer or not specifically this trailer, but dog trailers with no suspension. Um, and they can hit a bump and actually flip the trailer over because there is no suspension movement um, to take that bump out. Whereas the wheel would normally rise to take the bump and the trailer would stay fairly level. Unfortunately, the whole trailer rises and it can flip it over. So um, we went online and Tiffany found a company called Doggy, Doggy. Suspension Parts. And um, there's a video uh, also online about it being fitted to another trailer. Um, so we decided to adapt it to fit it to the Burley. So it's kept us busy for a little while and Finally, we've done it. We're about to go for a first road test today with it, but we'll show you how we've done it. So this is how it comes. So it's got a quick release axle on it. Um, and that's what you're left with basically. So we have had to get the parts that come from Doggy. Um, which is this suspension link here, which is basically it's a pivot um, and the pivot locates in there, in the where the original wheel went. So that goes in there and your wheel then goes in there. And then um, this bracket assembly here locates somewhere around about there and then a spring attaches from one of these holes to there and provides you with the actual suspension movement okay this bracket will be fixed we'll show you that in a minute um, so I'll put the whole thing together and then we'll show you how it works so we've had to make this bracket because if you can see it would be mounted onto this tubular frame here this bracket the painted bit and it's too far away from this pivot because part of the pivot is it's got this thing here that is can be used as a bump stop to stop the suspension going too far back, unloading itself and the spring falling off. And um, we'll show you that in a minute and it'll make a bit more sense. So we fitted this bracket, uh, which is um, just aluminium angle, quite cheap, get it off the internet. And what it's done is it's actually spaced this painted um, bracket out, green the green bit, and it's brought it further out so the two are nearer together. And they're in as much alignment as we can get. Um, you could get some even wider ones to bring it out even further, but was it worth it? I don't know. Who knows? We'll see how this one works. And if we think we have to make the bracket bigger, we'll make it bigger. So it's um, trial and error at the moment. Anyway, we'll put it together and show you how it all works. Okay. Um, once you've actually positioned this bracket, we used the mounting hole for the original um, axle bolt and drilled a hole in there and this bolt here we used again it was already drilled in the frame and that was used for a brake and we don't need the brake on this trailer so it's really handy having the two holes already in position so um, we worked out the distance that this needed to be going towards the pivot piece which goes in there and um, we found out that that was the best place to drill the two holes. We then actually um, placed the two units together just roughly by hand 
and found that this position on the plate was works best and the little bump stop there met the bump stop on the pivoting part which we'll show you in a minute um, and then we just used this uh, painted bracket as a template and drilled the three holes those are the two holes that there that hold this tilt to the bracket and that's your bump stop there you go we um, cut some pieces off because um, that wasn't needed and this was interfering with those um, nuts there so um, yeah we'll assemble it and then we'll go from there okay we've put two washers on this bolt um, because we want to space it out keep it level as you can see because this axle bracket there is raised so the two things need to be level with each other so we just put a couple washers out on there to space it out okay we're going to tighten those up and then we'll show you how the pivot piece goes on When it comes to this pivot piece, there's actually a spacer ring here that fits in there. Now that spacer ring was twice the length that it is now. We've had that machine down. And the reason we've done that is we wanted this pivot piece to fit as close to the frame of the trailer as possible. Um, when it was the original length, it stuck out like that. And hence the whole pivot was further away from the frame of the trailer. So uh, we've machined it down so as it's now flush with um, this painted section. So this is where the original axle located. This now fits into there, like so. Um, there's a washer and a nut that go on the back to secure it. But you can see now, as this comes down, this bump stop here stops suspension unloading itself too far. So um, without that, the trailer could end up um, sitting on the road on its axle. Um, we also then had to get this machined out to the size of the original quick release wheel. So as it was, um, this hole here was too small to take the quick release. So we've had um, one and a half millimeters, I think it was, taken out of there. And the two fit together really well. So I'm just gonna tighten this up properly, uh, put the spring in, show you how it works, and then we'll put the wheel on. So now this bolt that holds the pivot arm is, um, is in, and it rotates itself on that bearing there. We can put the spring on. So you've got multi-adjustment here, we figured out it's going to be one of these three holes and we're going to have to play around with it um, and see which one it performs best in. So that's it. Um, now you've got to put the quick release wheel on into there. Have the lever pointing backwards so it doesn't knock the quick release off. And there you have it. So we'll spin it back over. You can now see how the whole thing works. There you go. We have suspension movement. So there you have it. Um, as you can see, we took the floor out because it just made doing the job um, accessing the bolts in the chassis frame a lot easier. Um, the floor just pushes back in again and uh, Velcro's on. Yeah, so uh, there we go. Feel all right?
Luna. Was she lying down now? Ah, uh, some of it, yeah. Yeah, so I can look alright with it. Yeah. You guys alright? Yep. Okay. Are you confident not knowing what Luna's doing? I can tell when she's moving around. Or should I be following you? That's the thing. Go on then. <laughs>